Okay. 93.7, the new home of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Yeah, we jamming with that Michael Jackson, You Rock My World. And of course, today is Monday. It's New Music Mondays. This is actually my favorite. Mondays are my favorite day of the week because that's when I get to bring y'all the newest, hottest, dopest artists and their music. And today is no different. I'm really excited because I've been wanting to get these brothers down for a long time. And we finally made it happen. My brothers are in the building. Lyrics. What's going on, man? What's going on, G? What's, what's up, on, man? Bro? Hey, we made we we made it. We we got you down here in the Tri City. Oh man. <laughs> hey, it's been a long time coming, but we're here. We yes, here. sir. No, we sir. we mapped this out, circled it, underlined it, all that <laughs> stuff. Put it away. So do me a favor. Y'all go ahead and introduce yourselves. Well, uh, I'm the bald headed, regularly handsome one. My name is James. Oh, the disrespect. Oh, uh, that's what it is. I'm, I'm the tall and much more appealing one. My name Ooh. is Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are lyrics. Lyrics in yes, the sir. building, and uh, you guys are some singers. I oh, appreciate that. That's R, R and B. Absolutely. Like, I had to have them on. These guys are R and B. You're going to find out in just a minute. Just, just trust what I'm telling you. But uh, these brothers, I've known, y'all been on my radar for probably about four years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, shout out to uh, Travis Cherry. Yes, you is. know, up in Atlanta, producer. And I would come by the studio. He'd always let me hear stuff that y'all was doing. Yeah, I think I bumped into y'all a couple times up there. Mm -hmm. And man, I was like, I got to get these brothers on. I got to get these brothers on. And I think I was watching one of y'all, like, saw something on one of your lives on TikTok. Okay. And I was like, I'm calling Travis, I'm getting this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, not man. playing around with it anymore. That's how about right. <laughs> Four years, Doc. We still here. We still pushing. We got you. Absolutely, man. So tell us about yourselves. Um, introduce, you've introduced yourself, but tell us about who is Lyrics. Mm. You want this? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, obviously, we're brothers. Um, we're happy and we're, we're singing, singing and, and we're colored. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> yeah. <Tell me>. uh, <laughs> Sorry about that. So, I was, was wondering if it was coming. Oh, it was good. I was I wondering. Like, <laughs> it was definitely when, 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 when he said we're brothers. I was like, oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> I did, I did the excellent. Uh, oh, I mean, came with um, Yes, sir. But yeah, uh, we're, like I said, we're brothers. We kind of grew up in a singing household. Um, our journey started off. A lot different than what a lot of people see. Okay. Um, but, you know, on and on, like I said, we come from a musical background. and uh, how, how different? Like, mm -hmm. is that something you can talk about? or? Oh, I couldn't stand it. Huh? <laughs> oh, I couldn't stand this bar. Yeah, no, we, this man right here, he worked my last nerve. We had the traditional sibling rivalry. Oh, That's how man. it is. Who's the oldest? The bald-headed, regularly <laughs> handsome one. <laughs> 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 James is. James is the oldest. Listen, I understand because I, I've got two siblings and I'm I'm the oldest as well. So I understand that old oldest sibling energy. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I definitely have it. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all worked everything out. Yeah, you know they say the best for last. But uh <clears throat> Wow. No, um but no, to, to to answer your question though, lyrics, we um we like you said, we are an R and B group and we like to bring the old school feel mm -hmm. current you know not, not not always the sound but we like to bring the feel of it we want you to listen to our music and think man i remember when or kind of think mm -hmm. back to a time where they were making music like that and then to kind of bring that present but also piggybacking back off of what my brother said we uh we started different he and i both had two different paths in life he always mm -hmm. wanted to do music i always wanted to do everything but music Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> wow! But, uh, yeah, but we uh, well, we grew up in a gospel household. Yeah, um, pretty everything else is pretty much cut and dry. And then one day we both just caught the bug, and mm -hmm. we went around what uh, we went around Atlanta doing mm -hmm. talent we shows, talent shows, and um, showcases. Yeah, showcases. Yeah. And uh, next thing you know, I remember uh, we finished the show. And my brother walked up to me, he's like, "What do you say we do this for real? Like, just you know, no more, <laughs> no more shows, no more." You know, going out and singing other people's songs. Let's go do Let's ours. Do us. I like that. Yeah. I, I like that. That's really dope. Yeah. So, uh, um, see what the older brother did, guiding you and everything. Oh, that that's <laughs> that's, what was. that's what it was. I was just biding my time. That's all. <laughs> no, so, uh, who are some of your musical influences? Of course, you you grew up in church, mm -hmm. gospel singing family. Was there was there any kind of 
aversion to doing secular music? <sighs> to me... As the oldest, I'm going to let him have that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're really... I'll put it like this. Um, our parents were very understanding. They were very open. So there was really no pressure. It was more so... Um, you know, we want you guys to do what you what you love to do. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And follow your heart in, in in terms of what you want to do with your life. There was no pressure into doing music whatsoever. Mm. Um, but as far as choosing between secular and gospel, uh, we could both we could do both, honestly. But mm -hmm. it was really where we felt more at home right now in this stage in our lives. It's the R and B, mm -hmm. and it was we we looked at the game, we looked at the industry, and we were like. There's a there's a whole genre, there's a whole demographic of people that are being missed. Like, mm. where's your love music going? Where is mm. that? Y'all remember that that era mm. between the 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 late eighties and like to two thousand ten? Like R and B reigned supreme. Yes. You know what I mean? And then it was like, oh well, let's be a part of that. Right. You know, <laughs> you know. But it was one of those things. Like, there's. There's a demographic of individuals that need love music. They just, mm -hmm. they want to feel good. They want to be happy. They want to fall in love. And that's what we want to bring back. So who who uh, are some of your musical influences? Influences? I would go, oh, oh, man, list. you want to go, you want to you uh, <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, <laughs> no, funny enough, you actually played uh, one a little while after we got in. Uh, Drew Hill. Okay. Um, uh, Jagged Edge, 112, oh, Boys wow. to Men, New Edition. Um, can you get Casey and JoJo? Casey and JoJo. Jo 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 to see. <laughs> uh, they, they are separate. They right, they are separate. two different sounds. They, they are different, different. yes. But, um, but as far as the writing style goes, it would have to go back to maybe something a little along the lines of Luther, mm -hmm. um, even Whitney. But as far mm -hmm. as the guys, if you want to go into it, we can talk them to the OJs, the yeah. Temptations. Uh, Marvin, Al Green. Yeah, all yeah like, mm. we kind of dipped and dabbled out of everybody. We touching everybody. But as far as me personally, I'm a, I am a fan of Tank. Oh, I'm a fan of Tank. Mr. Babs is is oh, man. awesome. Darrell is he's he's he's, 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 he's no awesome. <laughs> he's, he's, he's unreal. Shout out to Tank if he ever sees this. <laughs> right. uh, Tyrese as well. His mm -hmm. new album, absolutely. Was, I love yeah. that new album. New album absolutely. absolutely. Oh my goodness. Um, but that's, I mean, not to not to name too many, but you know that's the name. Right. <laughs> we only did what fourteen? About twenty. <laughs> we get about twenty-five. So before we get into this song, you gotta you gotta talk to us about this song. Friend zone. Now, listen, I'm a chronic, when I was out there, I was a chronic friend guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I relate to this. So, you gotta, you gotta, let's hear about how you came about with this friend zone record, because it's deep. <laughs> okay. It is a deep one. Uh, woo! <laughs> May I have a deep Go right okay. ahead, brother. Okay, so, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I want to explain the true friend zone because a lot of people believe that being friend zoned is that person who's just kind of waiting for your chance to date somebody right that's not the friend zone if you're friends with somebody you're genuinely you're genuinely friends with them the purpose of friend zone of this song in particular is having someone that was you know in your life and you've gotten comfortable with and they've gotten comfortable with you to the point where you start to develop those feelings there was never a okay mm. well i became your friend to wait on my chance mm. it was just it just happened and mm. it became uncontrollable. It became something to where you felt remorseful because you're like, I hate to spring this on you. You know, I hate to drop this <laughs> at your feet. <laughs> and even though know, we have a music video out for it, and even in that respect, you see where it's literally at the worst possible time. Wow. Oh, so it's goodness. like being able to not overcome those feelings that you've developed for someone who's been so close and so comfortable in your life. And you know that it's true. You know it's real. You know it's genuine. Uh, genuine. And it puts you in the mindset of, what do I do? What do I do? So it's a uh, yeah, it's 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 tough having to having to fight feelings for someone that you know you honestly cannot have. Oh, mm. introduce the record for that, please. <laughs> we gonna drop this thing right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that uh, with that being said, we introduced you to this wonderful song. You may want to take a. Sip or sit down somewhere for the name of the song is Friend Zone. <laughs> Hearing you say you're in love with him, girl, that hurt me deep. We 
for friends forever, no storm and weather. He should be me, but I lived in fear, praying on how that you'd always be here. But he closed the door on that light. Now I feel my chest getting tight. I'm standing on. <laughs> the new home of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. One of y'all actually felt that. <laughs> I don't know which one of y'all went actually actually went through that. Man. But uh, somebody's chest was really tight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the shirt grab. I heard the shirt grab. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Excellent music, man. Excellent oh, record. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you, first of all, for making dope music. And then thank you for sharing it with the world, man. That's a, it's a big thing. People, you know, myself being a creative, I understand what it is to share that deep part of yourself. You know, it's mm -hmm. writing really is therapy. Writing Writers write. Mm -hmm. And that's like our, our uh, therapy and release, singers sing, writers write. Mm -hmm. And when you share that, it's a very intimate part of yourself. So thank you. And uh, man, listen, let me ask you this. When... Are you guys, uh, or do you have shows coming up? Because we got to check y'all out live. <laughs> uh, we actually, uh, we had our very first show in a long time um, in May. And um, and we, it went over very well. Mm. Uh, we surprised yeah, ourselves, yeah. honestly. Um, it was a great show. It was a great turnout. Um, and we are currently in the works of putting together another show. Mm -hmm. um, right now, we're looking slated for November. Uh, we just gotta get the band together and 
Yeah, because we believe in live performances. Keep, yeah. keep me in mind. I would definitely love. Oh, for sure. Say, for sure. For sure. For sure. And also, an album. Is this from an album? Is there an album forthcoming, <laughs> or you just gonna keep teasing? We. I'm, I'm loving these. Questions. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving. It. I'm loving these questions. I mean, we've been asked. We've been asked about an album, and the album is in the works. Come on, man! Don't play with it. Stay with it. <laughs> Our album is in the works. Travis is on our hip about it. So um, so right now, as of right now, yes, there's an album coming. Will it be 2024 or will it be 2025? We don't know. But it, it, dun, it's dun, on. Dun, dun. Dun. And people can, people can stream this record? On, oh, absolutely. On absolutely. You can stream it everywhere where you can stream. Okay. It's, it's in Japan. Yeah. Do me a favor. And give out your socials so people can follow y'all, check y'all out, you know, and, and get up on everything lyrics. For sure. So everything lyrics is exactly right. this. Right. Okay. okay. This is lyrics. Yep. Okay. So it's T-H-I-S-I-S-L-Y-R underscore X. You type that in, you have YouTube, mm -hmm. SoundCloud, and you uh, got videos. Instagram. Yeah, we have oh, yeah, we have music well. videos. We have, uh, what is it, three now? Oh, three. Yeah, we have three Four music videos. technically. You're not wrong. Four technically. We have three, we have, we have three yes. and a half ish. Y'all got Four. three and a possible. Right. Oh, no, no, no. Spades Fri them. Friend Zone has two videos. Oh, wow. So yeah, you have yeah. just your regular music video. Uh -huh. And then we did a cinematic release. Yeah, I had to give it the, the dramatic effect. Yeah, it's got a. It's a cinematic. Yeah, we, we did a cinematic, a uh, bit more of a storytelling behind. Shout out to uh, uh, Jamal. Yes, McMillan. Shout out to him. He's the one that created that vision for us. You know, he listened to our idea and he said, "You know what? I got you." Yeah. So we appreciate him and his talents and Jesse and Jamal and them busy man. No, they yeah. uh, his production company. They they definitely they took care of us. But uh, and busy. Yeah, but like I said, as far as finding us, just type in "This Is Lyrics." The underscore X at the end, and you find us on all social media platforms. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard that this is lyrics, and uh, you heard that record Friend Zone. Y'all go stream that and uh, post it to your stories and stuff. You know how y'all oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We are coming back, of course, 9 o'clock. We're going to slow things down with the real love zone. I may drop that uh, Friend Zone again. Inside of the real love zone is very uh, appropriate. <laughs> Don't y'all go anywhere. We're holding it down. It is the G Smooth Experience, okay, 92.7, playing the best RB and throwbacks. Thank y'all for tapping in. Thank y'all for tapping in for the.